selected UV shells can be automatically packed into a targeted UV tile. The UV packing tool is located in the toolbar of the UV editor window. In the pop-up dialog box, padding will set the interval between UV shells in per mil. Packing ratio sets the percentage of area occupied by UV shells compared to the size of the selected UV tile. Toggling on the rotation option allows UV shells to be rotated if needed. Fix scale ratio maintains the current ratio of UV shells within the tile. Clicking apply will perform the action. You can also pack the UV shells into a different tile. To do this, select the UV shells for the pants, switch to the selected tile option and change the U value to one and hit apply. Importing or exporting multiple avatars using the FBX file format allows for the possibility to simultaneously capture an expanded range of scene productions, rather than expressions limited to one avatar. Make sure the load type is set to add when importing additional avatars in FBX format. Under translation, I'm offsetting the second avatar two meters from the center in positive Z axis. Open the animation editor window to preview the avatar animations. When adding garments to the scene, the translation can also be adjusted to match the imported avatar. Simulate and record the simulation to see the result. During FBX export, you can choose to export all avatars or select only some avatars. With the introduction of the roll-up feature, it is easier to fold up the ends of garments, such as sleeve openings or pant openings. Select an outline of the 2D pattern with the Edit Pattern tool using the right-click on the intended opening and in the 2D drop-down menu, choose Roll-up. You can set the number of roll-ups to up to three times and enter a minimum of 10 millimeters to a maximum of 200 millimeters as the distance of each roll-up. To preview the final position of the roll-up, a green circle is shown on the garment in the 3D window. Click Apply to apply the input value and roll up the garment. Simulate to get the natural folded look. At this time, roll-up does not apply symmetrically or to instance modifications. It does save the previously applied value if you want symmetry, or applying a different number of roll-up and distance for the other sleeve. After clicking Apply, if the roll-up dialog box is still running, you can reset the applied roll-up, returning the garment to its original state. Here we have set a different value and hit Apply. The Select All Sewn Patterns feature makes it easier to select multiple pattern pieces that are connected by sewing relationships. In this example, we have removed a sewing relationship from this sleeve. With one pattern piece selected in either 2D or 3D windows, go to the main menu, Edit, Select All Sewn. All patterns that are either directly or indirectly linked by a sewing relationship will be selected and can be moved together. You can also do this with Ctrl-Alt-A or by simply double-clicking on a pattern in the 2D window using the Transform Pattern tool and double-clicking on a pattern in the 3D window using the Select or Move tool. While holding down the Shift key, double-click on a specific pattern to select additional pattern pieces with sewing relationships while maintaining the pre-existing selection. Please note that piping, binding, buttons, interior shapes, and sewn objects are not selected with Select All Sewn Patterns, although patterns connected by zippers are selected together with the Select All Patterns feature. USD files now support unified coordinates. In all of the pop-up menus for USD export, you can find the toggle for Unified UV Coordinates option. Activate the UV Coordinates option, then you can set the size of the image in pixels and the Fill Texture Seams value to extend the scope of the texture based on the texture's borders. When done, select OK. This also works with the NVIDIA Omniverse connector and can be imported to Adobe Substance Painter via Omniverse Connector Live Link for texturing.